everybody. Welcome to the Lo-Fi Podcast. I'm your host today, uh, Caleb Young. Uh, and uh, with me today is... Uh, oh, I say my name again? Yeah, Frank! And with me is... Rick! Yes, and today is a special day because our second annual... <laughs> our second <laughs> <Annual>. retro... <laughs> <laughs> second retro review. Yeah. Uh, we had Dune the first time. It was an interesting one. Uh, Very interesting. Didn't like the movie, yeah, but yeah, it's it. okay. It's okay. It's I'm worst. glad I saw it. Like I said, I'm glad I saw it because I've always wanted to see it's, it. Yeah, it's something that needs to be watched. I don't know if I would agree with that statement. <laughs> it needs but, to be watched. <laughs> but it's interesting nonetheless. No, I'm glad I saw it. hard to disagree on that one. <laughs> Today, we are reviewing Lady Snowblood. Yeah, kind of like Lady reviewing, Snowblood. going over a little bit of mixture of both. Uh, I'm your host today, so again, I'm going to kind of just do my own little thing here. Just kind of go with the flow. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, Kayla, so one important thing to note right before we, we get into it, Lady Snowblood, uh, of course, was an inspiration to Quentin Tarantino, it's right? It's very, very uh, inspiration. It's it's his inspiration to Kill Bill Volume 1 and yeah. 2, because uh, mm-hmm. there is a Lady Snowblood 2, actually. It's a two-parter. In oh, really? Ooh. Kind of, kind of. Uh, so yeah, so it does have a, the second one is not as good, just like Kill Bill Two. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but it's still good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Quentin Tarantino, he loves seventies films. All his films are kind of like influenced by seventies style with the lettering or any kind of the music, right? Yeah. So this one, he is very influenced by this movie into Kill Bill, with a lot of the shots are the same, similar plot details. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. the, the whole theme of it, right, is like revenge and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the revenge so, I mean, theme. he just, yeah. like, you know, he went hard on that angle, for sure. Yes, and the very, um, I had never seen it in another movie besides Kill Bill, so this is like the second time, technically the first time I've seen it, is the blood splatter. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The almost comedic, but kind of gruesome sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. I was trying to find if there was another movie that I did it before this. Mm-hmm. There was some samurai films where they would do it like once, mm-hmm. but that was it. So again, there could it could be out somewhere, but I th- want to I mean, say this is like one of the first times where it was really I see I mean, you see a lot of it in anime. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is based off a of manga, <clears throat> by the way. Oh, is so, it? Yeah, it is. Nice. It is. I haven't read the manga. I don't know too much about it. Oh, you're not a you're not a hardcore. Then you didn't read your manga not before a hardcore, you saw the uh, movie. Lady Snowblood fan. <laughs> yeah, hardcore fan. All those fans out there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for you know, what? I didn't expect it to be as bloody as. <laughs> yes, this movie was made in 1973. Yeah, so yeah, and, yes, especially for its time and yes. stuff. I was just like, this is pretty. This is pretty hardcore for like you know a 70s you know Japanese film yeah. or whatever. You know, uh, you you don't really expect something like that coming out of uh, like Japan films, really. I mean, the 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 blood splatter, the almost like the like quiet carnage that's like happening and stuff like that, I think was very well done, but also like unsettling sometimes because not every sword slice was like a clean cut. Sometimes it was just like like knife in the back and then like the (laughs) trying to get in there kind of you know movement i was like dude that that looks messed up yeah Yeah. her her sword style was was, uh was always like that oh yeah like holding it in front yeah she she always held it like this that's the way oren was was more like a right yeah yeah stabby yeah you know and then when she would fight it would be like little slices but she never really held it like with two hands yeah it was never like a classic samurai type thing it was always kind of like another way true it's also one of the first films I think as well where it does the whole like I've got my sword in the umbrella type of thing. Oh yeah, or, yeah. like in some some like kind hidden, of thing that I'm holding. It's right. hidden, yeah. That was the assassin cool. thing. Uh, I know it is kind <clears throat> of also like influenced by the. There's a Japanese thing where it's like the demon that you know can survive and goes through things. So she's kind of like the demoness type person. Like I think they refer to her that as mm-hmm. once. Um, but yeah, so this movie Nether just a qu- or like yeah, just, just a, a quick, quick synopsis. Quick synopsis. Yeah, um, Lady Snowblood is an assassin. She's going after these gang members. Um, you tells you close to the beginning. Uh, it's a revenge film, uh, and it's a violent and 
I think, fun film. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting for sure. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's a quick synopsis without getting too... Because I feel like if you say the exact reason, it kind of gets to the spoilers a little bit, mm-hmm. which we'll get into because... Yes, yeah, so not? definitely expect spoilers because spoilers. Um, we're going to talk about the entire so film. You may want to see it first or go see or watch our review and then be interested. Hopefully mm-hmm. you're interested and want to see it. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's let's start with that opening. Yeah, uh, opening the unsettling of just this baby just crying, yeah, nonstop for like yeah two yeah. minutes. I'm like, please stop. My ears hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Babies cry. Um, I noticed there was so we, you open up. They're in a prison, yes. right? And there's I think like white, but like also red snow yes. or right? Is that just more like yeah, symbolic? It's like, I think it's like kind of like going in and out of the uh, the colors, and it's kind of like. Um, Kind of go into the title, <laughs> yeah, of the yeah. snow blood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a, like a, yeah. It's a, it's in, it's intentional imagery, I guess. Yeah. Uh, with the blood and the red, and it's very contrast. Mm-hmm. Um, this pure being coming out into the cruel world. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and it's interesting too when you get there and they're all like, "Oh, she's she's such a hoe or whatever," and you're like, well, "Okay, uh, <laughs> 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 it's kind of weird, but all right, right on." Yeah, yeah. Um. And so, yeah, we open there, and then I believe right after that's the opening sequence, right? The song? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. yes. Which she sang. Oh, she, she sings that sang song. that? Yeah, she oh, sings that song, yeah. Wow. It's, Which is uh, also the same song that's used in Kill Bill. Yeah. Yes. I, I recognize it. It's yeah. uh, the Flower of, Flower of Carnage Flower is of the name Carnage. of the song. Yes. It's a very, very good piece of music. I love. Yes. Actually, I think even from Kill Bill, probably my favorite piece of music, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, I think very telling that, I mean, he picked that one. I'm pretty sure just as he's probably writing the script, he had that in the background. It was such <laughs> yeah, a, totally. like, perfect, man. It was such a good, yeah. good song or whatever. Um, but so the baby that's being born in that prison cell uh-huh. uh, is later going to be the main character known yeah. as Yuki. Yuki yes, right? right, which is the only name I could tell you. <laughs> that's the only one, unfortunately. <laughs> Other ones I don't want to murder and or I don't exactly know because, again, I don't have pictures to faces. And yeah, it's yeah. unfortunate. Um, I could get an iPad, bro, and no, put an IMDb fan. for you? That's what I did. I'm telling you, I went to IMDb and the pictures, they don't have faces. Some of them don't have like it's just blank. Oh, okay. Like I'm, I'm saying, like yeah, yeah, their yeah. faces okay. are actually on there, so yeah. that's why I couldn't do it. Okay, yeah. Sorry, sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> blame my MDB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, you're saying. No, no. The, I mean, that was pretty much it. Was yeah. um, so if we're following along in like the way the it's like chronicles. Uh, I you know that was one of the things I didn't actually expect. Was a very Tarantino style, almost like kind of back and forth yeah. in the timeline. Yes, Same. I did not expect that mm. for a film. Yeah, because like it starts with her like going, and she sees this villagers, and they're like kind of <clears> messing <throat> with her, and you're kind of like, "What's going on?" Yeah, there's some weird choices in this. Well, I don't know, maybe it's just a Japan thing, or the, well, I don't know what it is, but there's some weird like, this is weird, mm-hmm. like just for the moment being. Yeah. Um, and then she's talking to the guy, and, he's, and then kind of does that. That's the first kind of flashback where you see her mom and dad. Oh, you get the. Uh, image sequence yeah, yeah 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 just like in kind of in kill bill where you have the anime sequence this yes. is kind of the same thing where it's like what's well, more pictures yeah it was more like paintings <laughs> yeah and it's tell you about the time which i'm glad because i'm glad they didn't just assume that we knew <laughs> for I, i'm else. glad yeah i'm glad they did because i i was like okay what you know i i guess they're doing the setup of why they were just gonna kill this uh, dude in white, essentially? Yeah, right. What because was the... they were considered like the elite of society, or, or like some kind of military people. And so they, since he was on all white, they were like, "Oh, he's one of them." And they're yeah. like, "What? What are you talking about?" Because obviously, you know, there's like high class and poor class, and so mm-hmm. I think there was that rivalry going on. And so that's like the first really bloody sequence, I think, is when mm-hmm. they're killing the husband. Yeah, and uh, yes. those four people are killing him, and then uh, they kill the son mm-hmm. as well. You see him like yeah. in the river, and his head's like gashed. That was, gashed. That was fucked up. And then they rape the wife, and you're like, "Man, this is like really this <laughs> is like, hardcore." You three start days with... and three nights. Yeah, you're like, man, you starting off this movie is like so dark. Yeah, right. He's like you just start like, dang. Uh, and so, and I think that's what got me intrigued right away. I'm like, man, this movie's like really crazy. Yes. And I'm really curious to see where it's going. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I think it, I think it shows you up to then, and then we go back to Yuki. I believe I forget the sequence because I know they go back and forth. I don't know if they go to their training sequence with the master 
after that? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, sometime after, right? Because they're, they're going to show... Yeah, they start training. Yeah, so the, her okay. master starts training, which is the other sequence I forgot to tell you guys about. I forgot to warn you. <laughs> There's a little kid oh, nudity. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. You know, and that, that scene where... You know, it's like uh, essentially a ten-year-old or something. Yeah, he's like, rolling her down the barrel. Yeah, with like no clothes. I was like, uh, <laughs> I was like, it's so crazy to think that yes. like just how how much society has like changed yes, in just you totally. know in these last 30, 40 years, mm-hmm. um, where something like that normally was acceptable. I mean, you would uh, even when I was a kid, you'd go to the beach and you'd see girls like that. Just you know, because there's nothing. Little, right? little girls. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Little girls. Yeah. Because they look like little boys, essentially, just essentially, long hair. Yeah. But obviously, as as you know, we uh, progress and stuff like that. You, I mean, of course, you want to cover up or whatever. Yeah. You, you know, you you think about um, about that kind of stuff. But it was so jarring to see that in person. I was like. <laughs> I, I shoot fast. I, I like you know, like caught me by surprise. I was like, yeah. I did not expect. Sorry, I forgot to warn you. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, uh, again, but that was like the point where she turns right. Uh, I think where for she sure. Accepts it. Yeah, yeah, I think because yeah. they're training her, they're putting her in barrels and kicking her down. They're like, you can't, can't jump out or whatever. She was like in the montage. She was like fucking up. And yeah, like, it's it's in that moment where she like derobes herself, mm-hmm. where like she's like, you know pure or whatever yeah. mm-hmm. and then he like smiles because then he like knows like she's it's getting working. it yeah. yeah she's getting it and then yeah. from then on she just well, starts to, i mean even to the point where she's there like like eating the, yeah. the the blood or drinking the blood essentially um i think signified like oh like she's she's like that's the turn like she's understanding now or whatever like you're an yeah, assassin well, she's not like human yeah 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 like she's just like an agent of vengeance essentially and not Literally. necessarily a human being yeah. I guess. Which is such an interesting concept. Like, I don't think I've seen that before in a revenge movie before. It's like you're brought up to to kill some. Because usually you see, like, with those type of movies where, like, they grow up, like, I wanted a different life. I wanted to do this. But she's mm-hmm. like, yeah, no, I want to kill these people who kill my family. Like, yeah. Yeah. she's, like, so set on that yeah, goal. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. so, okay. Is there a supernatural uh, element? Uh, There was a scene where this was towards the end. I'm sorry if I'm skipping ahead. It's all good. Um, no worries. Where it almost was like telepathy. They were talking to each other in each other's heads. Um, oh, I know what you mean. When right? they were like across the... Right. And there was a small When they were in that second and, story. And like in, he, in his inner thoughts, he says something and then she responds to him. I don't. I didn't think of it. I, I, didn't, think, I didn't think it like that either. Yeah, I think they were both... It's like they're both thinking the same thing at the same time. Like they both uh, know what each other's thinking. Yeah, and They're both kind of responding. Okay. You yeah. know, in that in that same kind of way. Um, so I I wouldn't say if if anything was supernatural, I would have said like, oh, if she really was some kind of demon or something. But she didn't really do anything supernatural yeah. other than other than maybe a flip in the kill beginning. the hell out of them. Yeah. Oh, I, I forgot know, to start. That's where it kind of starts in the where would they have that where she runs into that gang. Yeah, that first gang in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Just Dude, kills the that, hell out of that them. That first guy got <laughs> so hard. He's just he, dude. He runs up like eh! she just does one of these like. Wham! And just in his f-ing ribs, like in the most pathetic way, that f-ing goon. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to find how much like her training, right? Like she's just this like skilled assassin now and yeah. this guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> yeah, and I kind of like the, you know, also thinking because like she has an umbrella, you're like, what can an umbrella do, right? Mm-hmm. But I kind of like the idea of how when she put it up and they stabbed the umbrella, like they can't really see her in a yeah, sense. Yeah, it provides like cover. It, it provides cover and like maybe a bit of a movement. So she kind of like blocked and then she moved it and she got the slice. Mm-hmm. So I liked that aspect of it too because I was like, well, how does an umbrella help you? Besides the Kingsman. Mm-hmm. Well, I think like uh, much like in like in Kill Bill too. Um, when let's say uh, when the bride is fighting Vernita Green in the kitchen area, right, and they're just uh, grabbing stuff next to them, they're using the environment or you know the the sword through the cereal box type stuff or whatever. Yeah. Like, um, I, I thought that stuff was definitely well done, but you can see inklings of it in in this film, right, mm-hmm. where he just kind of took an idea and like ran with it. Yeah, especially that beginning. Like uh, the other the thing snow. I wanted to, to, to state too is the cinematography is like just yeah. like, so oh, yeah. beautiful. Yes, dude. yes, so good. I mean, uh, a lot of scene shots that were yes, great. Yes, totally. And like, and again, that's that beginning scene with the snow. Like it's like that like little angled like overhead view, yeah. which is also like a direct shot from Kill Bill at the end of the first one mm-hmm. with the rain, uh, right? Yeah. So yeah, a lot of that cool stuff. Um, 
where were we? So she's trained sequence to go back to her. She she learns about her first guy she wants to... Because it's essentially she's going after the four people that raped, killed her parents and raped her mom, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, and then she says how the first one died. The first one died. The mom killed the first one, and right. that's why she ended up in prison. That's why she got locked up. Yeah, and that's when you were, I think you were referring to, when she's like, he's on top of her, and she just stabs yes. him in the back. Yes. Yeah. And it's like the blood the, on the, the cloth. like I have This thing that it goes straight into you, so I'm finding a <coughs> spot where it will go in, yeah. which I don't, I don't know if that was intentional or, or what. Because, you know, sometimes you'll see like, oh, okay, this is totally, like, you could see yourself doing these kinds of shots. And yeah. in a sense of like, there was this one uh, sequence where um, it's after this when they go to that first little village where she goes to ask for help yeah. to find those four guys. Yeah. Well, the way it opens up is it's kind of like this landscape shot almost, and it's like and it like comes down to like people walking. Yeah. But the the shakiness of the cam and everything just felt so like uh, I don't want to say like. Um, like a hand camera because i mean a lot of times that's on purpose obviously mm-hmm. um but in this case just felt like i mean anyone could have tried to do that shot it looks very like mm-hmm. rudimentary right and yeah. not like what you're used to today like uh, yeah. shots nowadays are especially like they're intentional yeah you know whereas this one is like a shaky cam and it like comes down you see the people like you see the the screen moving or whatever mm. Which I know is usually supposed to give you like a sense of like being there, yeah. but I think for an establishing shot like that, normally you don't go with a shaky cam. You do yeah. a, a hand cam if you're like following a person, if you're in a room with people, if there's action about to happen or something, mm. because it creates uh, tension or anxiety. Um, and you know them using a, a camera like that, like oh, okay, well this was back in the seventies, like movies were a thing, everyone was making movies, you know. Yeah. Um, I had gotten that kind of vibe from it. Um. Just just with that one shot alone or whatever. Mm. Um, so I just, you know, I would notice little things like that that, that were yeah. interesting. Well, I would say, in too, there's a lot of intentional shots in here, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I've, I have a lot of, like, favorite shots. So I'm like, man, that just looks so cool. Like, mm-hmm. Just that one shot, right? Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Um, but, yeah, so she gets help. She goes after the first, um, she goes after the first goon or whatever. Um, she runs into his daughter who's weaving fish baskets. She's That's like, right. All right. Nice. Tossing them. Yeah, and then uh, I thought. She, see, I, when she threw them over, I thought she was gonna catch fish with like that. Cause I mean, I don't know their customs. So like when she, yeah, because it looked like they were on a line. I was like, is that yeah. how they catch fish? They just kind of that was like their form. That was like their form of a of a. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you later. <laughs> but yeah, and so she goes into town to this like poker game, whatever. Which at the when I first saw this movie, I'm like, is this movie gonna get started soon? It's kind of like yeah, like, right. like all right, yeah, and so yeah, I would say this is the only slow part of the movie for me. Um, it was like she goes to the poker game, the guys want to beat up that guy, and she's like, Oh, don't, don't, don't kill him, I beg you not to kill him, and they're like, oh, Okay, whatever. <laughs> and then so he's like, Why'd you save me? or whatever. She's like, Well, whatever. And then they go to the cliff eventually, and then she tells him or whatever, and she's like, Kills him. Another, another, and I love every time like when someone goes into a river there's like a lot of blood in the a water lot of blood yeah. in the water uh, <laughs> so I don't know if they add extra blood in the water because I'm like I can't imagine uh, they whatever have. they had on them can add that <clears> much blood I, I think it's uh, for added effect right like yeah. if you were seeing this in a manga you'd probably see all of them well I mean mangas are black and white or whatever yeah. but you know if they're colored a certain way to show you like there's blood or something yeah. um, I think it would be for something like that it's like almost like exaggerative which mm-hmm. much like Tarantino's stuff Especially when he was doing the, you know, heads being chopped off and the spray, yeah. right? It's almost, it's almost like that. Not necessarily like comedic, just exaggerated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then she like dumps him off the cliff too, right? Because she, she drags him. Yeah. She drags yeah. him. Yeah. So him she off the cliff. she killed him at the beach and yeah. then drags him to the top of the cliff tosses and him. and tosses him over. <laughs> Why? Like he was already aspects. dead. I don't. I'm not really sure. She was going to make really kill confused. him. <laughs> I was one of the things I was kind of confused on, but then um, maybe it was like a Japanese thing where like, oh, I, I'm gonna send them to heaven this way. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's the only thing I was a little confused on. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so then that happens, and then she goes to the little grave, or whatever. She's like, you know, praying or whatever. Not praying, but I don't know. Whatever they do, right? Talking to the grave. Um, I think this is the first sequence where she meets that guy, the journalist guy. Yes. He's like looking at her and she's like following him along. Um, 
totally called if they were related. Well, oh. I thought about that too. I was like, oh, it's going to be the son because he's going to visit the yeah, grave. The but then when he says, oh, I'm a news reporter, this and that, and he, you know. I didn't buy it. Um, well, I was more like, okay, so did they just do that? It was that like, just lousy writing slash plot, like, you know. But then you realize later it was was not the case. <laughs> they, they had something planned. A yeah. lot of twists I saw, one of them I did not. Okay. Um, when we get to it, you let well, us know which one. Well, I think soon after this is where we where he posts the the story of Lady Snowblood in the newspaper, right? Yeah, shortly after which this. Which I thought was such a weird choice. I'm like, that's so weird. This movie just got meta. Yeah. And then and then With she the goes to her, yeah. I was like, wow, this is really weird. Cause Maybe that's really why weird. for its time it was especially a thing a little bit. I know it's a cult classic. But I mean, maybe at the time that was like super meta. Like maybe it wasn't really well. Being but the, done. well, the thing, what what thing was that 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 corrected it for me is when she goes to talk to her master and he's like, yeah, I told mm-hmm. him. Yeah. So they would come find you, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, That'll okay, that's cool. Bring him out yes. of hiding. Yeah. Just so so it didn't throw me. So I was like, okay, I like that choice then. Yeah. Um, so then, uh, and then sure enough, the cops find the journalist guy and they're like starting to beat him up, and you find that that girl, the lady, don't know her name, is like behind it. She's like with the officials or whatever, mm-hmm. and she's there to bait Lady Snowblood out, um, and she does, and then that's when Lady Snowblood comes to go go get him, and there's like big action scene. One of my other favorite, uh, such a good that was a good scene too. I like that scene a lot. Yeah, uh, very bloody, just running around slicing <laughs> the Dyson. Uh, that sounds cool. Yeah, and I like she, I like that she you see the first time that she's vulnerable too, right? She gets cut in the arm, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's like. Oh, I'm kill you. <laughs> uh, and then uh and I think this is the first time where the the old the the uh the lady has a gun, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, she yeah she's shooting at her and so she's like hiding in the shadows. That's the other shot I like when she's like looking through the shadows and mm-hmm. you can see the blood on her face. I'm like, oh, so Yeah, cool. the, I thought it was a cool shot. Yeah, and then so the lady's like, you know I was like, you know, waiting for her to come up and then she does the little smoke bomb to get out. Uh, and then she finds her, she's hanging she hung herself. Yeah, I thought, um, well, you do it in quotes. Do you think maybe she was just faking? No, no. It was uh, the other guy. The other guy. What other guy? The guy who faked his death. The guy who faked his The main guy. He he hung her. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So that's why she was super pissed. She was like, oh, she took away my kill. Like, yeah, she yeah. Was not pissed only her. was the kill taken away, but then it's, it's over. I think, I think I missed that. How do you know it was that guy that did it? He says it. Oh, okay, okay. This guy. I didn't pick up. I didn't pick up that up. My bad. <laughs> probably looking at your iPad while you're. <laughs> <laughs> I had no electronics while I was watching this. Uh, which is <laughs> totally believe you now. The other scene I like where she's like she's just pissed and she just slices her in half. I thought that was yeah. cool. I thought she's like just. I mean, I thought it was like oh, just to make sure she is dead. Just <laughs> slices her whole body off. I was Double like, oh tap. my god. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. So that was fun. She's like, I guess that's it. Like you know, like no more. And then that's when the other reveal comes out. Yeah. That he's alive and he's mm-hmm. his dad. I didn't, I didn't. So when he said it was his dad, that's when I felt better about that reporter being at the gravesite because I was like, I was like, that's, that makes no sense. Like they were doing that just to further the plot. But like, okay, it makes sense. Was he like, was visiting his dad's I knew grave. it. <laughs> I didn't. No? Yeah, no. me neither. I knew it. So then he goes with this little towel pat. <laughs> to the to the party and the, when I when I first saw it and they got to the party and everyone's wearing masks I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> like this is gonna be the exact like thing from Kill Bill it's a crazy 88 <laughs> it's crazy 88 <laughs> but I was like no it's not it's not <laughs> uh, and then she you know finds him in that, this is the only thing I was like okay that was kind of that was kind of silly mm-hmm. when she kills him and like the, she takes off the mask of someone else yeah, like, oh. that was that was that twist I didn't see. <laughs> That's why I was like, uh, okay. Yeah, so, at first, so I was like, mask. I was like, oh, oh, it's a f-ing fake, right? With the with the little yeah. stash, and then they're like, no, even further, <laughs> no. F- it, the whole face. Yeah. I was like, what the? F-? Yeah, I did not see that, dude. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that was the only. Like, uh, there's okay. more. That was a little much. I, my favorite part of that scene, especially, was just the sudden arms being lopped off. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Both yeah, of his dude. hands. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. I was like, this is, it's a bad way to go. <laughs> your hands. <laughs> yeah. And then okay. also, then I just thought it was a satisfying little ending when he's him, his son, and like he has the gun. He's like, I'm not gonna fight you with the sword. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> yeah. 
And then him and his son kind of get Part, into it. Parts of that I felt like they felt a little clumsy to me. A, a yeah, little like just kind of weird. Like, what are you trying to convey here, really? Because like she was also like there staring, standing at them for like staring at him forever. And he's like, he was like, you hurry, you know. And he's like trying to fight him, and she's just like, I was like, what? Why I think she was she... trying to like find a way to kill him without killing both of them. Probably, I don't know. Because I think in a way she kind of cared for him. Yeah, Not, like loved him, but but I thought the way. <laughs> She's like, she's not gonna go in and like try to go over him to stab the 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 dude. She goes straight through her friend. Do you think that was her intention? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think she's like, no, nah, I'm gonna kill both of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she does double kill the dad. Where she's just like, Pfft. yeah, and he falls on the. Yeah, which I thought was cool. Um, yeah. Oh, just... he shoots her right before too. Yeah, he, she, she he does her. shoot her, and then. That other chick comes. Yeah, and then she's like walking into the snow, and then the other chick comes and she stabs her. I was like, was oh. Just, just like runs up to her and, just, <laughs> and then just runs away. <laughs> Didn't even finish the job. Yeah. Well, she's amateur, man. Yeah. Amateur. Yeah, that's true. I, I would have been happy had she stayed dead. Had yeah, it, I don't know. Had it gone full circle, I would have been happy. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would like Because if, if her life was just. For vengeance and just to kill, like that was her entire life, then she yeah. fulfilled that. And then it's poetic justice for someone else to do the exact same to her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I think like both ways. Yeah. I see what you're saying, but I, I'm, I'm cool with the ending that it is. Uh, so, yeah, that's just a quick run through of the movie. I know I was just kind of sped through it, but yeah, I just yeah. want no, to know cool. your just your overall thoughts. What did you think overall? Uh, uh, I, yeah, I, I liked it for for being a, an old '70s movie. I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. But just a lot of the absurd moments like that, like the mask, the arms being lopped off, the 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 real cool moments of like the the choreography with the fighting and everything. Like, yeah. um, I didn't expect to like that stuff as much as I did. Yeah. Um, you know, the the movie, uh, the plot, whatever. It's vengeance, right? Um, I, I still liked it a lot. That was very good. Yeah. They, they tried to touch a little bit on her, like, her, like, what is she going to do after kind of thing, right? Mm. And do you think after her dying, that's her vengeance dying? And now that she's still alive, she's kind of like reborn in you? That's that a good be, point. That could be yeah. symbolism like that. That's yeah. a really good point. But I'm wondering what part two is, though. <laughs> yeah, I need to see it. I have it too, but because it came together, I yeah. just didn't mm-hmm. get a chance to. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I so I thought she was like dead, dead, right? Especially I thought it was a weird way for her to just like kind of scream out, right, as she's like crunching a snowball <laughs> as yeah. she's dying. <laughs> and I, and I, but Which you know, it felt kind of why I thought like, oh, that's her, like that, that's releasing, right? Like yeah. the mother and everything, like the grudge yeah. within her. Yeah, like right? she's getting it all out. Like, she finally like that. fucking did it. I kind of like that, you know. So I was like, "Oh, that's that's pretty cool." And then, yeah. Um, what was your thoughts overall? I, I enjoyed it. I really liked it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do see a, the, a lot of the f-ing <laughs> Tarantino like took from this, which yeah. is great. I'm glad he did. You know, and fucking, it was really good, dude. All yeah. the, the the cinematic shots, the music was f-ing yeah, great. Totally. Do everything, man. And I thought she was really good too. Yeah, like, her, dude, like, she did right. yeah. great, man. Yeah, yeah. she was good. Her eyes, dude. Yes. Like you can see it. That's yeah, great. totally. Like just that stare, like all the time. Like, jeez. <laughs> I love how she was always uh, like with the white makeup to make her more palely, to make her more like uh, ghost like, like ghost. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, you know what? But I do like I, I do like that she maybe came out alive after that because it, I I don't know I just feel like it'd be a total bummer if you were only born to like kill and that's it you're dead and not, you're nothing else you know yeah. like I feel like it diminishes. Obviously, her as a human being or well, as a no, character. I mean, I just feel like that makes her even more of like. To me, that's cooler that mm-hmm. she was uh, like, she was born to be this f-ing, like sort of vengeance. Yeah, yeah, and she f-ing did it. Yeah, I felt like uh, literature wise, like okay, it would have made sense because she got her revenge, and a person who only solely lived for revenge as an assassin has no other place in this world but I mean, to, that's what her but to die was also. Her too. He's like, you could never be anyone else. Like you could never have a normal life. You mm-hmm. are a what is he what do you call it? Like a nether walker or another uh, child or some Nether like yeah, yeah. Nether world child or something. Some yeah, like that, like that, where that. he's you know where she's part of like that fing she's not human, you know. Like mm-hmm. in yeah. their eyes. She's yeah. human but she's not like human. Yeah. 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 
Like her life's you not You get to own. enjoy the pleasures of being a regular child and a regular human. Like your focus is only to kill. Yeah, yeah. and it's why her mom was like a <clears throat> child, you know? Like mm-hmm. that's, and everyone felt bad, but still did it. <laughs> 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 All right, well, <laughs> too bad. <laughs> that's your life now, kid. Yeah, that was crazy. But yeah, I came upon this movie because, yeah, uh, there's a Criterion collection. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I've been like picking movies out that look the cool. And so I found that one. And oh, I've been picking up a lot of the old Japanese films, mm-hmm. uh, and so that one I found, and I was like, ah, I really like this movie a lot. Nice, <laughs> nice, so good. Yeah, man, I'm glad you brought it to us. Dude. It was, um, I think I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have made time on it on my own. So I thought this was cool to yeah. to have that excuse to to go back and look at it and, and actually think, make time for it. Yeah, and I think it's cool to like go see like older films that like ins- inspired a bunch of movies that you watch oh, today. Sure. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's inspired a lot of games and and movies and a bunch of stuff. Like yeah. it's just that. Going to the source, yeah, so it's great. Mm-hmm. Totally, totally. Yeah, so sure. that's what I've been I've been into lately is seeing like the original ideas of things. Yeah. So I've been doing that too recently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much Lady Snowblood. It's not as not super long, but it's not a long movie either. Um, it feels at times because it's an older movie, so it doesn't always <laughs> go yeah. quickly. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not Lady Snowblood. Yeah, it's fun. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's I liked good. it. It's yeah. good. Go watch it. Go watch, Go watch it. it. <laughs> You'll like it. I promise. If you like Kill Bill, you like this movie. It's true. It's it's Count it's interesting to watch, man. Even just uh, as as a scholarly perspective, just to have something to look back on, or at least see what these directors look back on. Yeah. You know, so you kind of yeah. you can get your own ideas from it. Um, the the last thing I forgot to mention was when they were at that gambling table. Yeah. I was I was legit excited thinking that she was gonna do the little Oren like run her little feet on the table to like slice <laughs> the guys off. Uh-huh. <sighs> that just that would have cherry on top. That, yeah, that would have been the cherry on top. Man. <laughs> I so I looked for stuff like that, you know, uh, like just because that no, that man, that whole scene. I'm glad that's Tarantino's man. Yeah, I'm glad. That's yeah, yeah. No. made it his own. So it's yeah. good. It's good. Great. It's good. That's it's good. <laughs> go watch it. Go check go it out. Watch it. Go check it out. Hope and then you come back. And then come back here. Check out the rest of our stuff. Yeah, our next retro review goes to. Like <laughs> it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be Elisa. We'll see if she can make it. Uh, see what she chooses. If not, uh, we're going to continue. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, hope to see you next time. We have more reviews and stuff, and channels and gaming and stuff coming soon. Check out the sword. Pokemon Sword, these, yeah. these guys are doing. Yeah. And, uh, and yes, we'll see you next time. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye bye. Damn. Washing them dishes. I hate not having a dishwasher. It's the worst thing ever. For real. It's like 30 minutes out of your 40, 30 to 40 minutes, like just gone. Yep. To yes, sir. To washing and drying yep. and putting away. Mm-hmm. I feel the same way about clothes sometimes. I'm like, oh, this takes forever. <laughs> this takes so much time clothes, out of my day. Clothes you can do nothing about. But the dishes is like, I, I wish I just had a dishwasher. It just saved me time. Well, what if you had a clo- <coughs> clothes washer? You know, just That's wash what it's called. clothes. <laughs> a washing machine and a dryer. Yeah, but you're saying dishwashing because it just... You, it's automatic, right? <clears throat> yeah, but it's done for you. Yeah. What if the clothes got washed for you? That's what it. <laughs> that's what a washer machine is. Yeah, but what if it then automatically throws itself into the dryer and throws a new load in there for you? <laughs> oh well, that's not that much of a step. The long I mean, step about it does, cleaning. It's called a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs>